What's up everybody, Patrick from WP Builder Helper, and in today's video I really wanted to sit down and have a discussion over what I think are some of probably the best page builders on the market today. So in today's video I picked out five of them, and these specific page builders are page builders that are doing things right. They're following what they need to be following, and they're listening to community feedback, and they're actually fast and they're efficient. Hopefully they tend to um, pave the way for other page builders who don't understand what they're doing wrong with their current page building, um, I guess you could call it marketing that they're doing. So in, the, in today's video, we're going to talk about the five that I think are like the most helpful, the ones that are really doing a good job and being out there and doing what they need to do. So with that said, let's jump right into the page builders and let's talk about number five. Starting at number five, we have Live Canvas. So for those who are not familiar with Live Canvas or possibly haven't even heard it, Live Canvas is a page builder that is um, quite possibly the most interesting on this list. It's not so much a, it's, it's weird. It's not an oxygen, it's not a bricks. It's like something all on its own, which is actually a good thing. It's, it's a unique page builder that uses Bootstrap in order to do it. They've got comparisons on their website for speeds with different uh, tests that they've run, which I have to say is becoming a standard. But for the most part, during my initial testing with this page builder, I can tell you right now, it is one of the fastest on the market because it is bootstrap. It is essentially taking your code and it is turning it into a static website and it does it really, really well, even using the WordPress stuff. The, the one thing that's a drawback for this is, and one of the reasons why I wouldn't call it a, um, a high-end page builder is that they've got some weird pricing going on. One of the things that's really affecting them more so than the others is the fact that with their pricing, they're charging starting about um, $159, and then it goes all the way up to $149. Uh, $499. Um, the $59 is great, and I did say $159. I meant $59. The $59 is great. The $499 is a bit much. Um, you know, you're starting to see that there's these page builders that are getting what I would call too big for their britches. And they're starting to price above what the market average is because they think they can get that Elementor money. And the fact is, they're not ever going to get that Elementor money. And so this may be one of the things that ends up pushing them out the market. But regardless, if you have never looked into Live Canvas, I would recommend looking into it. It is 100% front base in. It has all the short codes you need to design the pages. It, it doesn't need, you don't have handcuffs when you're using it. It's got some great stuff and they've just added some recent design templates, which was definitely needed for this um, website builder. So go ahead and take a look at it. I don't think you will be sorry. So number four on my list is going to be one that's going to be kind of a controversial one because it's not really released. And that's going to be Breakdance. Um, Breakdance is kind of like an offshoot from Oxygen. And there's no doubt that it is one of the most polarizing builders on this list. But regardless of what you think about Breakdance, the fact is it has hit the market and has done it with a splash. And they are moving at a breakneck speed to take and catch up with some of the main builders that are out there. There's been like eight betas since it came out probably two or three months ago, and I don't think it's got any um, any room for stopping. It is it is at a breakneck speed on purpose, and that we, it's really, really doing some amazing things. One of the things that I like about Breakdance more than um, probably I ever liked about Oxygen is the fact that they're including a lot of the things that are essential to Elementor, so it's this weird mashup of like Oxygen and Elementor. Uh, it still obviously doesn't have a lot of support because obviously the people who love Oxygen love Oxygen and it is what it is. They're not going to move to Breakdance 
And the people who love Breakdance will probably move to Breakdance as soon as it becomes available because it's like an Elementor clone. Um, but it's got a lot of good things going for it. It's got some excellent features. Their header and footer uh, builder, specifically the header Mega Menu, is probably one of the best that I've seen on the market uh, since. I know a lot of people have covered it, and there's a lot of great things coming. It's going to have WooCommerce. It's going to have uh, just so much coming up uh, very, very soon that's just awesome. They've already got pop-ups in a loop builder already included into it, and the the thing is not even out yet. I mean, if if you don't know yet, Breakdance is pretty, it's going to be awesome. Now, the one thing that we don't know about Breakdance, and the one thing that's probably going to make us hesitate a little bit more, is in the end, what does Breakdance cost? What's the average cost that, that they are going to try and charge for it? That will either lead to Breakdance's success or failure as people will either go to it or they'll go back to Elementor or something else that's just cheaper or whatever the case is. So it's got to be competitively priced in order to make it in the market. And that's something that we're all going to be waiting for with bated breath. Number three on the list is going to be Zion Builder. If you have never heard of Zion Builder, you need to do yourself a favor and go look into it. Now, Zion Builder is probably not one of the most popular builders on this list. As a matter of fact, uh, I would well, I would say that Live Canvas is less popular than Zion Builder, honestly, because Zion Builder has a decent sized community. There were a lot of people who came over to Zion Builder during the App Sumo phase. And I think that there's a lot of good things about Zion Builder that is just really, really nice. Zion Builder has a lot of already baked in things like WooCommerce, uh, modal builders, dynamic data, global colors and gradients, just all the things that you could possibly think of that you could want from a page builder. It's also got a decent library set, although I think the library could probably be worked over a little bit more. I feel like they could have some other stuff in their library. Um, but it's definitely not bad for somebody who's thinking about using a page builder for the first time. I don't think Zion Builder is a bad page, is a bad page builder. It's definitely got the speed to back it up in terms of all these other page builders. It's one of the faster page builders on the list. It's not a bad page builder at all, but it kind of falls in rank with everything else. It's just it's one of those page builders that's doing everything right, but it's not gaining traction in the market because a lot of people don't know about it. I actually think that this is one of the better page builders that are out there. It's one of the more complete builders. If you're looking for a builder that's got a more complete, um, uh, more complete everything, it's not in development. It's like developed, and that's what it feels like is that Zion Builder is that builder for you. It's not missing a lot of anything. It's got most of everything that I could possibly think of in a builder that you would want. Um, the only issue with Zion Builder from my perspective is there's nothing specific in it that makes it stand out above a normal page builder. You're not seeing the innovation that you're kind of seeing with Breakdance, but still it's a very, very solid third place in this list and I think that it's it's a good builder and I think that you should take a look at it. Also think that in terms of its competitiveness, they offer a 250 like Divi lifetime deal, which is probably one of the best deals on the market right now. I think it's great. It doesn't matter if it says it's only got 642 left, I would go buy it today. It's one of the better builders that's out there and I would take and I would check it out. Um, there's a lot you can do with this builder, and I think it's only going to get better. The number two builder that I picked out today was actually Bricks. And I did this for a very specific reason. Bricks is one of the uh, better page builders that are out there. As a matter of fact, when Oxygen started having issues, Bricks kind of became a lot of people's go-to builder. There's a lot of good that comes from Bricks. There's a lot that they are doing that they are building out that's just really making it one of these page builders that you need to get used to and get to like. 
The one drawback of bricks above everything else is sadly not its speed or anything like that, but the fact that it has been in development for quite some time. Now the roadmap is still pretty um it's pretty good and it's it's doing some things, but you're gonna find that just right now today it doesn't have a pop-up builder, it doesn't have a mobile menu builder, it doesn't have a mega menu builder, it doesn't have radial gradients. It doesn't have any of those type of things that some people are going to want. Uh, and that is something that could be a deal breaker for somebody. Some people do not want to wait for another builder to take and come out and create something. So they would rather just take and find something else. And that's where I think uh, Bricks kind of falls. Regardless of that, it's still very competitive and it's still very good. Bricks still has a great um, amount of of uh respect when it comes to the community there's a lot of people who really really like it and i think that that goes to say a lot for them they're also priced at a, at that 250 range but you can get it for 199 right now if you buy it today with the date that this video releases which is lifetime updates and um it's a great value. I mean, I can't really, I can't say enough about bricks. It's doing some amazing things. But if you're one of those people that is uh, needing a full feature set, then kind of consider some of the other options on this list. And in the number one spot for our page builder that's out today, I can't say enough about this page builder. I recommend a lot of people to this page builder, regardless of if you're somebody that has um, amazing experience or not, and that is Oxygen. So a lot of people are going to come back and they're going to say, wait, but Oxygen just did some shady stuff with Bricks Builder, uh, not Bricks Builder, <laughs> uh, Breakdance, and that is true, but Oxygen is still one of the most well-developed page builders on the market today. I've said this before and I'll say it again, until... Breakdance gets the back-end support that Oxygen currently has, has, it won't be a threat to Oxygen. It just won't. You need third-party plug-in support from other developers, and I think that that's honestly the truth. And Oxygen already has that, and there's a lot of uh, additional stuff that's out there. Uh, I know a lot of people wish there were more templates, and that's one of the things that's been a biggest problem for Oxygen. But at the same time, it has a full, complete feature set. Now, when you're looking at this menu or you're looking at uh, every everything that's on this list, you're going to notice right away that there's only two that technically have the full feature set, and that's Zion and Oxygen Builder. And from both of those, I would say that both of those are really good, but I would pick Oxygen over Zion just because from right now, from the standard that I have today, it's a faster builder to me. Now I haven't done the page test, page speed test on both of these, but I have that coming. But I can tell you right now that Oxygen is a builder that is loved. It's looked at. People go to it. They hunt it down. They learn about it. They get involved with it. And then afterwards, they're usually happy with it. There is a fan base with Oxygen that will never go away. And it will be there until the day that this builder dies. So if you're someone who's taken an interest in one of these page builders, I would definitely take a look at Oxygen. It's probably well worth your time. And like I said, has a complete feature set. So we've gone through all the builders and hopefully now you can see that I've picked five of the builders that I think are the most impressive and I picked them on purpose. All of these builders are fast and efficient you don't need Gutenberg to run them. You don't need anything like that. And as a matter of fact, all of these builders, when you compare them to Gutenberg, can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Gutenberg. So many of the reasons why I picked these is because they are the faster builders on the market. They're the builders that are outpacing the other builders that are out there because the other builders are just becoming bloated and everything like that. So if you're looking for a less heavy builder, Take a look at one of these five. They all have their pros and cons. I wouldn't expect everybody to like everything about every single one of them, but I think that either, either or some of these, you can't make a wrong choice. I think that they're pretty good, and they have enough stuff in them to take and basically run a website design company 
for quite some time going forward. So that's my picks. What's your pick? Did I leave something off this list? I'd love to hear from you. Go ahead and comment down below, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. See you guys next time.